That's not at all how I plan to start this video. It's very frustrating. So the weekend has come and I wanna check out a concert. I don't know who's in town though yet. Uh, let's check that out. All right, I found it. I found what we're doing. Back to you, Ryan. All right, so we're going to Sum 41. We're gonna to go to the early 2000s and experience that again. So now you know where you're going. You're going to the Warfield, you're going downtown San Francisco. You know it's gonna take a while because in San Francisco it takes 20 minutes to go two miles at least. So you leave early, plenty of time to get to your destination. Then you get to downtown and parking. You think you might have found a spot then you see stuff like this. Stopping Monday through Sunday, being Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday as well. It's just paid. So I'm confused. I don't know which one takes precedence. I'm assuming the sign takes precedence over the meter, but what about the sign below it that's also posted? The search continues. Guess that's a no also. I'm not sure what during posted services mean. I guess that's another no. I'm just confused always. <laughs> so that was the struggle to find parking. I can't be the only one that has these problems, can I? Parking in San Francisco. Impossible. Impossible, okay. Impunitive. Impunitive. I got like five tickets in a month one time. Five tickets in a month? Yep, you have to like really get out of your car and read it carefully. Yeah. Outside zone, zone violations are 162. Oh my goodness. Come on, the thing is, yeah. once you get a ticket, you can use it for a while. That's like having you paid for parking. That's smart, right? <laughs> it's genius yeah. right there. <laughs> Did you get any parking tickets while you were um, right here? I got a bunch, but it was, <laughs> yeah, I've gotten more parking tickets than I feel like I've actually driven in the city at this point. You got like three tickets in like, what was in the span? In two days. In two days. <laughs> <laughs> I literally got like, more than $150 worth of tickets. <laughs> you can never find affordable parking anywhere, especially like in the areas that people like go to work. There should be more affordable options. We all grew up in the city. So we've oh, seen you did? It. Yeah, yeah. and so we've oh seen it all. It was not an issue before, yeah. you know, so. The accidents happen because people are like, and wars, fighting, yeah. fighting for parking yeah. and like they don't pay attention no. to what's going on. And it's like, friend got hit. She was on her bike and she got hit last week by someone, like someone trying to park. Park, yeah. During, on a busy street where they're not, they're trying to park as fast as they can. Yeah, they're so. like under the pressure yeah. and then they're like... You guys know what all the colors mean on the meters? Uh. Wait, on, on the meters? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know how they have... Yeah. Yellow's loading. White's in front of like post office, off like post office, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or um, it's like SFMTA, so you have to read the whites. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So on Monday oh, yeah. Friday, you can't park there, but on the Saturday and Sunday, yeah. you can, but like they don't really say that. I'd hate to be like someone from out of the country driving here and being like, what does this right? mean? Right? Yeah. I need to figure out what all the different meter colors mean, so let's do that. Let's figure that out. The green meters simply mean that it's either a 15 or 30 minute spot. The yellow meters are for commercial loading. This is for all commercial vehicles. The red meters are also for commercial loading, um, but only commercial vehicles that have six or more wheels. Important note though, um, all of these colors can be overturned by the signs that are on them. Most all meters are operated Monday through Saturday. Um, you do have some exceptions that are operated on Sunday. Fisherman's Wharf, I believe, the Embarcadero, and then around at and Park where baseball games are. Another quick note on paying for parking. Um, so you can obviously pay with credit card, you can pay with coins. Um, my suggested method though is the pay by phone app. It's called just pay by phone. It's awesome because then you can see how much time you have left on your spot. So that's meters. All right, back to you, downtown Ryan. Those are the meter colors. Hopefully that was helpful, provided you a little bit of information. Parking in San Francisco can be really tough. Availability is really hard, and then once you actually find a spot, it's hard to know if you can actually park there and for how long. Um, I think a real problem is that you're in a stressful situation already driving in traffic and in busy areas where you don't want to hold up traffic. To have to 
stop and read multiple signs um, to understand if you can actually park there or not, that's what makes it kind of stressful and dangerous. One, if it could be a little easier to identify if you can park at a spot, that would be great. And then two, um, maybe let's just be more patient when we drive, I guess.